You know what? <clears throat> Don't just single out NWA. If we want to play this blame game, y'all want to play? Let's play. Let's play the blame game on so, on, on the devastation on what special ed say? Destruction of society. NWA is the cause of the destruction of society. Brought destruction to our youth. Brought destruction to our children. NWA did all that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to say okay. All right. But I'm going to tell you this. Don't just single out. If, if you're going to say NWA brought destruction to our youth, you got to say hip-hop. You got to say hip-hop brought destruction to us. You got to say uh, Wu-Tang Clan brought destruction to our youth. They got a lot of songs that ain't positive. You know what I'm saying? You got to say... Uh, Freddy Krueger brought destruction to our youth. He committed a lot of murders on 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 TV. You know. You got to say Elvis Presley brought destruction to our youth. You know he did that all that wild sexual dancing, got the girls screaming. You know, we don't need, we don't want that type of music in our town. It make people go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So we y'all want to play the blame game? Let's play the blame game. The movie Boys in the Hood. Let's say that brought destruction to our youth. You want to play the blame game? Let's do it. Let's talk about the drug dealer down the street that I used to look up to. He brought destruction to our youth. He made me want to be a drug dealer. I saw the cars. I saw the nice cars. I saw the big money. He made me want to be a drug dealer. He brought destruction to our youth, right? Okay, let's talk about... Uh, the, good, the United States government, they brought destruction to our youth with racism, with slavery, you know, with unfair treatment of black people, the Jim Crow. They brought destruction to our youth. Let's talk about the gun manufacturers. They brought destruction to our youth. You know, we, 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 blame, we playing the blame game, right? Gun manufacturers of this country brought, brought destruction to our youth. Come on. Let's talk about Chuck Berry, inventor of rock and roll. He brought destruction to our youth with all that devil music. All that devil music rile up the spirits in you, man. It make you crazy. It make you, it make you take drugs. It's devil worshiping music. He brought destruction to our youth. You know, let's talk about uh, Axl Rose. He brought destruction to our youth. All that devil guitar playing, all that guitar playing uh, devil worshiping music. Van Halen, he brought destruction to the youth. You know, let's talk about it. Let's talk about all these politicians brought destruction to our youth. The three, the three strikes laws. You know? All these... Uh, uh, let's talk about the, the, the laws of the United States. The, uh, the, all these prisons brought destruction to our youth. All these judges. They brought destruction to our youth. Come on. It ain't just the NWA. You, you want to play the blame game. Let, let, let's go. All the, all the slave owners brought destruction to our youth. Miss Tammy, uh, Minister, uh, Minister, uh, 
Brown brought destruction to our youth. He slept with a lot of different women in church. You know, he he got caught stealing. You know, he got caught in a scandal. He brought destruction to our youth. You know, some of these New York rappers, a lot of these New York rappers brought destruction to our youth in their lyrics, what they said, man. You know what I'm saying? You listen to what they saying in their music. Fat boys brought destruction, brought diabetes, died diabetes to our youth. They talking about all you can eat. They were fat, man. They brought destruction to our youth. They led by a bad example of being un overweight. And they got a video of them eating all you can eat. And that's why society is so fat because of the fat boys. You know, when the fat boys came out, everybody wanted to be fat like the fat boys. Everybody uh, wanted to eat all you can eat. Everybody wanted to, uh, everybody watch that video <clears throat> and start copying the fat boys, man. They brought destruction to our youth. They, they made a lot of people fat. A lot of people, they had, they had, uh, a sway over the community. You know? They had mind control over the over the community and their lyrics, man. Everybody wanted to be fat like the fat boys and, and beatbox. Like uh I forgot his name. But yeah, they brought destruction to our youth. You know, I can say East Coast New York hip hop brought destruction to our youth. If it wasn't for the East Coast hip hop, it wouldn't be no West Coast hip hop. So it really started on the East Coast hip hop. Excuse me. Hip hop brought destruction to our youth, man. That's where it really came from. And radio really brought destruction to our youth. Because they started playing all that reckless hip hop music. You know, so we got to blame radio. But then, hold on now, the movies and the entertainment industry brought destruction to our youth because, you know, they came out with all these violent movies and affecting our kids. Our kids watching these movies. It's going, it's seeping into their brain. They brainwashed by these, these, these mafia movies, these hood movies. The Godfather, man, when it, Martin Sorsky, whatever his name the, the, the director that, that made The Godfather directed The Godfather Scorsese, Martin Scorsese he influenced the youth the, 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 the director that made uh, Scarface oh man they brought destruction to our youth with that drug dealing movie everybody wanted to be Scarface you know what I'm saying you saw, you saw Al Pacino brought destruction to our youth I mean, after that movie came out, everybody started dressing like like Al Pacino, dressing like Scarface with the silk shirts. Everybody wanted to be a drug dealer. They brought destruction to our youth, man. We ain't just going to single out N.W.A. Nah, all these fuckers, if you want to say he brought N.W.A. brought destruction to our youth, you got to call everybody out. The presidents, all these presidents of the United States brought destruction to the world, man. <coughs> world War One, World War Two brought destruction to the world, to our youth, to our children. They brought, with the welfare system brought destruction to our youth. They kept the black man out of the home. They broke up the black family. That brought destruction to our youth, man, to our culture. Who else can we blame for the for bringing destruction to our youth? All these diseases, all these diseases over the over the centuries, the black plague. Oh, uh, what was all these diseases? The smallpox. You know? Um, 
brought destruction. Influenza. HIV brought destruction to our to our society, to our culture. You know? I guess NWA invented HIV too. All these STDs, our herpes, brought destruction to our youth. All these STDs brought destruction to our youth, man. Come on, man. Yeah. Mankind just all, all this pollution brought this dest destruction to our youth. Uh, all these terrorists, terrorism brought destruction and fear to our society. Come on. A lot of the police, cricket police brought destruction and fear in our society. All these politicians and cricket cops, corruption, all this corruption in America brought destruction to our society, to our culture, to our youth. Corrupt people brought destruction You see what I'm saying? Just don't single NWA out. A lot of people brought destruction. If, if we want, if we gonna play this game of NWA influence, had a major influence, and made and, and people started. That's when hip hop went down. That's when hip hop started influencing generations of killers. It all started with NWA. Come on, huh? We can't just start with NWA. You always have violence. And basically my point is, human beings are destructive in themselves. No need to single out NWA. The one who's singling out NWA ain't no better than NWA. There will always be destruction. That's human nature. Human nature is destructive in itself. You can't single out NWA. If you're going to single out NWA, you got to single out human being. You got to single out every human being in the world. You and your home have been destructive in your ways. You and your home listening judging have been destructive judging or not judging you as a human being have been destructive to somebody else at some point in your life you have been destructive to life in some form or fashion you've been destructive you as an individual has been destructive has caused destruction in some way, in some shape, in some form, because that's human nature. Destructive. That's n the nature of the universe. Destruction, chaos, and the opposite of that. Building. Order. What? The opposite of chaos is order, right? So, our whole nature is order and chaos. You can't have one without the, the other. Human beings, animals, life is destructive. It's destruction. And it's order. We build and we tear down. That's our nature. That's the beast. That's the nature of the beast. To build and tear down. So you can't single out NWA without singling out every motherfucking human being on the planet. 
every genre, every profession. every person, every event, every decision that's made, it's going to be some destruction, it's going to be some consequences to everything. That's part of life. That's part of our society. We build, we tear down. NWA got songs of building up the community. And LNWA got songs of tearing down the community. So does Wu-Tang Clan. So does Jay-Z. So does Tupac. So does every fuck. So does Special Ed. Yeah. He got songs of building up the community. He got songs of tearing down the community. He got songs of order. He got songs of destruction. I'm pretty sure you can find a lyric where Special Ed is talking crazy. Is talking destructive. He ain't Jesus Christ. He ain't perfect. He's talking destructive in his music. and could lead somebody the wrong way. If we want to play this game, we can play it. You know? We want to play this game? Let's play it. Everybody has influence on somebody. Your mama have your mom, your parents have influence on you. When a kid grow up, sometimes he want to be like his dad. Or sometimes he want to be like Mr. Johnson. He like he like Mr. Johnson the way Mr. Johnson, he like Mr. Johnson haircut. He want to get a haircut like Mr. Johnson. We all have influence. We all have order and destruction. Don't single out NWA. If you're going to single out, you're going to blame NWA for society's ills. You got to look at yourself and, and, and put yourself on that, on that, on that blame list. You done did some, you done did something wrong to somebody. They can blame you for how you messed them up. The way you judging NWA, somebody can right now in your past blame you for how you screwed them over in some shape or form, for how you affected their life and messed them up in some way. Just like what the Bible said, don't judge unless ye be judged. You can't judge unless ye be judged. You know, I grew up in a little small town and these boys I heard this story that these young men got this little 12 year old boosted up this 12 year old boy to go shoot about four or five white people in the store well maybe it was three white women or something like that the rumor was that these older teenagers told this young boy to go shoot up and kill these three white women inside this store. That that's that that's what the rumor was. And a twelve year old went and did it. He went and did it. So, y'all say, okay, you want to blame the teenagers that told the boy to go do it? Fine. You can blame the teenagers, but you also got to blame 
the 12 year old that did it cause he know right from wrong he knew right from wrong he wouldn't have shot himself if they told him hey shoot take this gun shoot yourself in the head take this gun and shoot your your mom in the head He knew right from wrong. That's part of human nature. You want to blame? You want to blame the teenagers that told the boy to do it? Okay. But the blame also got to be on that young man that did it. You got to put the blame on the young man that did it. You know, and not everybody is crazy. And not everybody is going to do. And not every 12-year-old is going to do what some teenagers tell them to do. Not every teenager is going to go out there and shoot somebody because somebody told them to go do it. You know, that's that's human nature. That's part of being a human being. You got some people that are weak minded. That's going to do it, do whatever you tell them to do. You got some people that are strong minded. That's not that's that knows right from wrong. I don't care how they was raised. They not going to do that. Some will, some won't. That's human nature. So if you're going to blame NWA, you got to blame every goddamn human being in the world. If you're going to blame NWA for destruction, you got to look in the mirror. What have I did destructively to somebody? What have I did? I ain't perfect myself. Look at yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look yourself in the mirror. Since we want to play this blame game, start with yourself. Who was you destructive to? Let's start with that. Who was you destructive to? We want to be petty? Blame NWA for society's ills? We, we got to blame Freddy Krueger too then. You want to blame NWA? You got to go. You got to blame Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger influenced you to be a mad, a, a serial killer. Robert England, the guy who played Freddy Krueger, influenced you to be a serial killer. Since we want to play this blame game, there's somebody out there right now, a serial killer, that probably blames Hollywood movies horror movies being a reason he became a killer since we want to play the blame game let's play it he has a right he has a right to say that to say that yeah these horror movies in Hollywood uh, influenced me to go to become a, a, a killer a cold hearted killer he has a right to say whatever he want to say if that's how he feel but are you going to blame Freddy Krueger some of you will that's part of human nature some of you will blame Freddy Krueger some of you hardcore Christians, my grandma would probably blame Freddy. See, that's the devil. You shouldn't be watching that devil uh, TV. You shouldn't be watching that. They, they, ought to, they ought not even make movies like that. Some people will blame movies on, on, on people killing people. You know, they are rationalized they'll find a way to rationalize it 
Yeah, them damn movies got into y'all head making y'all crazy. That's why the Taliban is who they are as human beings. Because they rationalize shit in their head and they blame shit in their head. Well, we don't allow this in our society because that makes people crazy. We don't allow this in our society because that's going to make our women wild. So the Taliban keep a close knit on what they allow in their society. So the way Special Ed think and the way y'all think, y'all think on that same wavelength as the Taliban. As the Taliban. Y'all thinking on that same wavelength as the Taliban. And all that's going to do is cause your society to be like the Taliban. You're going to have a tight-knit society like the Taliban. Now, do you want to live in a society like how the Taliban live, or do you want to live in this society we live now? Make your choice. Because it, it can get real crazy on how y'all blaming NWA now. Cause I like I said, if y'all want to play the blame game, it can't. It, it it can get crazy now. Because then you start showing your bias. You start showing. You start looking like a hypocrite. Cause you can blame NWA, but you don't blame uh, Freddy Krueger. Or you can blame NWA, but you don't blame a Wu Tang Clan. So you start showing that you're a hypocrite. You know. Human beings are faulty anyway. That comes with the territory. Ain't none of us perfect. But we live in a we live in a world where we have a choice. We live in a world where we have a choice and we know basically a lot of us know right from wrong. Most of us know right from wrong at a young age. At a very young age, we basically that's what it boils down to. We know right from wrong in our societies on how we was raised. Well, whether we was raised good or bad, we know right from wrong. And this is the society we live in. We like our freedoms of choice. So we hold people accountable for their decisions that they make. We hold people accountable. Music is an art form. Just like movies is an art form. It's entertainment. It's, it, 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 it should be looked at and it's mostly looked at as entertainment and an art form. You know? But then we want to fucking blame and fucking art art form entertainment on destruct on the destruction of a fucking a whole culture. We want to blame entertainment. We want to blame an art form. On the, on the destruction of a culture. Because we don't want to really hold parents accountable for their kid, for their children. We want, you, you can't depend on the music to raise your children. You have to depend on the parents to raise the children. I don't let my kids listen to cursing music I don't let my kids you have to be responsible as a parent I don't let my kids listen to music with cursing in it they too young I don't let my kids watch things with cursing in it they too young and, they, and they're impressionable and they're gonna start copying it they're gonna start copying it cause they really at an age where they're very impressionable and they don't know right from wrong when they're real young. And you got to teach them. 
No, you can't say that. No, that's wrong. You can't do that. You got to teach them till they get to the maturity age where they know right from wrong. And where they and where they exhibit appropriate behavior. You know. But like I said, You can't blame entertainment. You can't put it on entertainment to raise your fucking kids. You can't blame entertainment. You can't blame entertainment because you didn't raise your kid right. Because you was negligent. You you wasn't involved in your kid's life. You wasn't paying attention to what your kids get into and be doing. You know? But then you want to blame an art form because it may have influenced, you, you think it may have influenced your kid. And maybe it did influence your kid. But that was your job to put that in check. And know what they're doing with their life and know what they're listening to. That was your job to, to show them right from wrong. <clears throat> so they can know right from wrong. So we all have a plot part to play in this society. So we can look up, we can look at NWA, okay. If everybody played a part, it wouldn't be no destruction. It wouldn't be no NWA caused brought destruction in, in, into to our culture. If everybody was responsible and and played a fucking part. You know what I'm saying? If parents were, were fucking responsible and did and raised their kids, you wouldn't have to worry about no NWA causing destruction. It didn't cause destruction to the white youth. And I, I don't see people complaining how NWA caused destruction to the white culture, to the Caucasian kids in the suburbs. And they mostly was the kids that was buying hip hop music. NWA was very popular among suburban white kids. But, you know, funnily, you know, but, you know, it's funny how it, isn't, it didn't cause their destruction. You know what I'm saying? That's funny, right? It's funny how NWA didn't cause white kids destruction. It didn't, it didn't bring destruction to their culture you know what I mean and they and like I said they was buying they was the biggest consumers of hip hop they overtook uh, um, the young black teen consumer the little white teens was the biggest consumers of hip hop when it was, uh, especially during the NWA days, in their heyday. White kids started being the most, the biggest consumers of hip hop. But it's funny, it, it didn't cause destruction, of, you know, in their culture though, because see, they had a real culture. Most of them had two parent households. You know, it goes back. They wasn't being oppressed. The white families wasn't being oppressed and singled out and disenfranchised and was, and was treated unfairly. They wasn't treated unfairly. 
So they had a good stable. White kids have a good stable family setting compared to black children. You know? So, you can blame the parents, but then with us, with blacks, you got to blame the government. You got to take it back to the government, causing destruction to black people. United States government causing destruction. Like you just skip over all that. It wouldn't be no NWA destruction if it wasn't the government destruction. If it wasn't government's destruction of the black, of our culture. The government, the U.S. government destroyed black culture. <clears throat> From all the way back to slavery. So how can you blame, it, it, it wouldn't be no uh, the NWA if it wasn't for the unfair treatment of black people you got slavery you got you got unfair racist treatment you got dope flooding in the black communities you got the FBI destroying black leaders assassinating black leaders then you got gangs coming in then you got drugs coming in then you got the music reflecting the society and now you want to blame the music for 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 for, for killing society you want to blame the music for destroying black society <laughs> See how see how see see how that make see how that don't make any sense at all. You got to go back. You got to back that thing up. Cause you just skipped a whole bunch of destruction that happened before. NWA. And. <clears throat> NWA was just a reflection of how people were, were, were fucked over from slavery. It started back in slavery. NWA was just young kids screaming about how fucked up they got done. Screaming about how fucked up Their, their 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 cultural life is that's all the NWA was about kids young men screaming about how fucked up their culture is now you gonna fucking tell me they brought destruction no destruction was brought to them they just telling you about it they put in it putting it in an art form and music form telling you about how fucked up the destruction is and how it affected them but the unintelligent the misinformed the unconscientious want to blame the victims You want to blame the victims instead of the perpetrator. Perpetrator get a pass. You want to blame the victim. All the victim is doing is telling you what the fuck they've been going through and living and living in. That's all the NWA ever did. It told you what it was, how fucked up the culture is, how fucked up they people are. That's all they ever did was express themselves.
But it started way before the NWA, bro. That part. Talk about that part. It didn't start with destruction, didn't start with NWA. Long before NWA. Hip hop ain't the reason why these young kids going crazy. Started way before hip hop. Negative hip hop, but but if it's so bad, be the change. Be the change. You want to change the world? Change yourself. You start with the man in the mirror. If it's if you think it's so bad, as if if it causes so much destruction, you change the world by looking in the man in the mirror and changing himself. You make the world a better place. Start with self. That's it though. I'm out of here.